Hello and welcome back. All right, so in this lesson, we're just going to do a basic overview of color to black and white conversions. Doesn't matter which image you use to follow along with. It's just an overview of how the process works. So what we need to do is grab our channels panel. So we're going to go up to window and select channels. So this is going to give us a better understanding of what's going on with our color to black and white conversions. So from here, you can control the colors in your photo. There are a total of four channels. We have one for RGB. We have one for red, another for green, and another for blue. And each will represent different colors within your image based on that color channel. All three of them combined give us our RGB colors, our red, green, and blue colors. So when you individually select one color channel, Photoshop is going to show you a percentage of the colors for that channel, for your image, and display them in a shade of gray. And then when you combine all three color channels, you then get your red, green, and blue, which represents all the colors, when combined, for your color image. We can also see this with our histogram. So let's go back up to Window and select our histogram panel. Let's go ahead and bring this out so we can see it a little better. And let's go ahead and select All Channels View. So here we have the histogram for each one of the three color channels. And as you can see, each one of the color channels is different. So when you convert an image from color to grayscale, what you're doing is you're going to equalize each one of the three channels. So to see how this works, let's go up to Image, Adjustments, and select Desaturate. Now take a look at the red, green, and blue channels in the histogram, and you can see they are now equal or the same, whereas before they were all different. So basically, when you take red, green, and blue and make all of them the same, they end up making a shade of gray. So the question then becomes, what is the best way to convert our images from color to black and white? Well, in the next lesson, I'm going to show you three ways on how not to convert to black and white. And then in the final lesson, I'm going to show you how to properly convert your images from color to black and white. So if you're ready to get started on that, let's do it.